Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, I was out here practicing with some solar ignition and a thought crossed my mind. I wonder if you could take the ever concentrating stream of photons that are coming from a magnifier and take and redirect them with a mirror. Yes, you can. That's what I want to show you. First, let me show you what I've shown you a dozen times on my channel. How to take this eight power side of the uh, makeup mirror which is a concave mirror and solar ignite pine needles. And now you take this page magnifier, put the ridges towards the sun, and use that to solar ignite pine needles. Now, let's go ahead and bend the ever concentrating stream of photons, bend them around the corner and get solar ignition. We won't use the eight power mirror, we'll just use the regular mirror on this side. Now, you can see in this mirror, when you're in the very center, you don't want to have the focal point, uh, you know, it's a large focal point by the time it's, it's right here. You don't want it on the edge, you need it in the center. But you can see where it's at, you can see where it's hitting, and then redirect it over to the side, and you still have to focus it in. You still have to come closer with it. Now let's bend it over to the other side. using the regular power side of the mirror, not the eight power.
And if, if my tender was a solid surface, I could better gauge when I had my focal point at the tightest. With it, with it like that, you can't really tell. You just have to guesstimate by how much smoke you have rolling off of it. There we go. Now, let's do it one more time and we'll bend it downward. We bent it left, we bent it right, let's bend it downward now. Let me try to do this where you can see it better. Let me try to do it like this right here. I'm looking for when it's in the center. Right there, it's in the center. That is fascinating to me. No, I do not have a practical use for it. But I promise you someday we'll be able to use this in some kind of a practical application. It seems like every single experiment that I do, it doesn't mean, doesn't matter how absurd that it seems at the time, how frivolous that it seems at the time, I eventually end up using the knowledge that I learned from all of my experiments. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.